Today we're getting ready for autumn and winter and making some crochet fingerless gloves. We're going to start by making a granny square first, so grab your first colour and create a slip knot. Then chain four and slip stitch into the first chain we made. Then you're going to chain two and you can see that we've created a circle. So the chain two we created counts as our first double crochet and now you're going to do two more double crochets into the circle. This counts as our first cluster. Then you're going to chain two and start your next cluster. So you're going to do three double crochets into the circle. You're going to repeat this process until you have four clusters. Once you finish your last cluster, you're going to chain two and then slip stitch into the first double crochet or chain that we made at the beginning. We're now going to add in our next colour, so I'm going to cut this yarn, bring in our next colour and pull it through as you can see on the video. And now we can start our next row. So to start you're going to chain two, this will be included in our last cluster but now we're going to move on to our next corner and this is separated by another chain. So in this corner we're going to do another cluster so that's three double crochets and the corner sections are always three double crochets, two chains to separate them and then three more double crochets. So we're just going to do that now. And then we'll do chain one in between the corners and then repeat that corner process of three double crochets, two chains and three double crochets again. So now we're on to the last cluster of the last corner, so we're just going to do two double crochets and use that chain two that we did at the beginning to complete it. We're going to pop our hook through and grab our next coloured yarn, snip the end and pull that through the gap and slip stitch it through that stitch. And then we're going to chain two and start the next row. So we're going to complete this middle cluster by doing two double crochets into the gap. Chain two, 
chain one to get over that next cluster and then do our corner cluster of three double crochets, two chains and three more double crochets in the same corner. And we're just going to repeat this process, so chain one, three double crochets in the middle, chain one and our corner cluster. So you're going to repeat this all the way around to finish off this row and I'll get back to you at the end of the row. Once you get to the end you're going to chain one and pop your hook through your first chain and add your new coloured yarn. Pull it through with a slip stitch and chain two to start the next row. Then we're going to do another chain to move over the cluster and then do three double crochets in the gap. And then chain one and then our corner section of three double crochets, two chains and three double crochets. And again we're just going to repeat this process round. Then we're going to complete this row by doing two double crochets in the last gap and slip stitching it to the first chain we made. We can now cut off our yarn and pull the yarn through and that's our first granny square done. So now I'm just going to tie off all the ends and snip them so they're nice and neat. And now you're going to repeat this process so you have two granny squares exactly the same. So once you've got your two granny squares you can now attach them together so we're going to pop them right sides facing each other and we're going to sew them together on one side of the square. So grab a piece of yarn and a darning needle and you're going to attach them by the back loops
So yeah, you're just going to do that down one side of the square and then on the opposite side we're going to get a new piece of yarn. This is where our thumb hole is going to be, so we're going to do a bit of sewing on each side but leaving a gap in the middle. So again, sewing through the back loops, we're going to do a bit of sewing down the length. I did about three centimetres down, but as you'll see on the video, you sort of want to check and see if it's comfortable by popping your hand into the square and sort of measuring where your thumb sits. So here you can see I'm just popping my hand into the square, seeing if it sits nicely where the hole might be, and just doing a few more rows down. So yeah, I did about three centimetres down. And I'm just popping my hand in the glove and sort of measuring where I want to close the hole off under my thumb. And then start sewing that bottom section, which for me was about two and a half centimetres. And now we're going to create the ribbing section on the glove. So this will be at the bottom bit of the square. So you're going to do a slip knot. And you can do this whatever length you want. I did six chains. And then another chain. And then I just single crocheted down the length of the chain. And after the end of every row, you need to make sure you chain one and turn your work. And now to do the ribbing, you're gonna be doing single crochets in the back loops of the chain. So you can see on the video here, I'm just going through the back loops. And then just continue this down the length of the row. And again, at the end of the row, chain one and turn your work. And you're just gonna continue doing this, going through the back loops until you get your desired length of ribbing. So in order to measure for your length of ribbing, um, I'd recommend getting a tape measure and measuring around your wrist. You want it to be the length of your wrist but slightly wider so you can get your hand through the glove. So for me that was about 16 centimetres. And again, once you finish your ribbing, just check as you might need to add some more rows or get rid of some. So mine looks pretty good here. So now I'm just going to sew the sides together with a darning needle.
So once that's completed, you can now attach it to your granny squares. So I'm going to put the cuff and the granny squares right sides facing together. And then I'm going to attach them through the back loops of the granny square, as you can see on the video. So you're just going to continue this all the way around until the cuff is attached to the granny square. And you're just going to tie off and secure your ends. I sort of do this throughout or you can do it at the end, but just make sure that everything's tied off and secure. And now it's time to do the thumb ribbing, which is basically the same as the cuff. It's the same stitches, but slightly smaller. So I'm going to do a slip knot and chain four. Obviously, again, you can do this to your desired length. And then I'm just going to do single crochets back along the chain. chain one at the end and turn and again through those back loops to create the ribbed effect. So once you've got to a certain length I'd recommend wrapping it around your thumb and testing if it fits okay. And also I just checked it against the hole to see if that fits okay as well. So annoyingly I can't remember the measurement of this but it was about 14 rows. And then we're just going to attach the sides together with a darning needle. And now we're attaching it to the thumb hole. So again, through those back loops and just securing it all the way around with a darning needle. And once that's done, you're just going to tie up all the ends, making sure it's nice and secure. Now we're on to the last set of the glove, which is just a row of single crochet around the top. I just like to do this to make it nice and neat. So you're just going to pop your hook through any of the holes and do single crochet all the way around. Snip off your end and secure the tail bit of yarn. And those are your completed gloves. So if you recreate this, please share any photos with me. You can tag me on Instagram at its.myers.life and I have all my handles in the link below. 
thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.